Hi everybody, welcome to this master playthrough featuring free-to-play balls only for the California Ultimate Tournament. Now, uh, these are general wind directions from previous tournaments that we've had. Before we get started though, please hit thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, general wind directions. Unfortunately, there are some headwind angles here, but I'd rather provide a full playthrough rather than selected holes. Obviously, you will need to alter your approaches but at worst, this will just give you a good overview of the holes and some routes you might want to take and some useful information about club and ball distances. Bear in mind, you will need to tweak some of the adjustments when you know what wind directions you face and there may well be more aggressive options available on a couple of the holes with the tailwind modifier. Timestamps in the video description down below. Good luck. Here we go. Hole number one, we do have a form of send it win. So it is going to be Berserker. 5.8 bars top spin, 2 bars side spin to the left. Stretch out, find the position, yellow ring touching the rough on the left. Then we are adjusting max plus 10. Max plus 10, be careful, you will adjust off the cliff, so just adjust uh, as accurately as you can. Once done, push back up to max. Straight push up. Then we are going to go with full curl to the left and looking like three to four rings of overpower you may need to uh, just change that depending how much uh, wind push you're going to get if you have more tailwind obviously reduce the overpower slightly minor great right but this is still going to be absolutely fine also tested with great left and perfect all working out absolutely brilliantly because we are hitting great right we do come in on the right hand side but still parks up very nicely on the fringe for an easy end bringer eagle I'd play that one, max topspin. Hole number two, we do have hole in one here, which I do believe is going to be another must drop in master. Set up, blue ring touching the fringe, there we see at plus nine yards. Six bars backspin, three bars side spin to the right. Don't worry about the ball guy, just find your landing position there with the guardian. Adjustment here, max plus 30. Max plus 30, I'm doing 10 rings first. Then going to push the rest, otherwise the tree and the cliff is in the way. Can use a Centurion here to reduce the wind if you want to, but I've dropped this both with Kingmaker and Centurion. Finally, half wall curl to the right. Half wall curl. So edge of the ball, halfway into the adjustment ring on the right. Hitting perfect and it bounces. Second bounce just pin high, taking the slope and rolling beautifully for a hole in one on hole number two. On we go to hole number three, and again we do have send it wind here. Obviously if you do have a top spin boost ball, most likely you are going to get to the green, but in the interest of keeping this free to play, I'm going to show you an approach with Berserker. Stretch out, bullseye, just touching the top of the bunker, then add spin. 5.8 top spin, two bars side spin to the right. If you have more top spin, don't go with it, because you may well get a glitch roll, especially in higher winds. Max plus 5 is the adjustment, and then pushing back up to max. And then we are going with one ball curl to the right, no overpower. Try and hit perfect, which we do. Minor great left, minor great right should still be fine. And the idea is we just bounce here and roll very nicely towards the end of the fairway. Like I said, no more top spin than that. You may well get a glitch roll, end up in the rough. Second shot, going to use the thorn. And we're going to count up rings from min. So find your position there and push up, count the number of rings until the ball guide is going to the front edge of the hole. So there is five. There is looking like nine or ten rings from min. Ball guide to hole, no spin. So we're going to play a 1% slider for every ring from min. So here, ten rings from min, playing 10% slider plus 10% elevation. We adjust our rings. Ball guide just going to the front of the cup because we do have tailwind and we don't want to come in too hot. And we're going to hit perfect. Very good chance of albatross here. If you do obviously want to go with a bigger ball to try and get to green, you can. But I do think the thorn has a very good chance of dropping, which we do there for a very nice albatross on hole three. Now it gets a little bit tricky for free to play, but only really on hole four. And this is a difficult shot with the navigator and the rocket. We have to use power one ball, otherwise we will go in between clubs. Aim at centre of the pad, eight backspin, one bar side spin to the left. The adjustment here, which is awkward because of the bunker, is mid plus five. 
and I'm looking to do a very small pull angle of 1201. Here I do too much pull angle so we are going to be short and uh, we're going with a little bit of left curl as well. Unfortunately do hit a minor great ball but still going to be fine. But like I said this is a difficult hole for free to play. If you do have a wind 5 ball and you're happy to spend it then I would really go with that. I have a practice token as well, not really threatening the pin, but I'm just happy to get the birdie on hole four. Hole number five set up Thor's hammer for the ball guide, red ring touching the rough on the right at plus one yards. Then we we're going to add one bar of top spin, one and a half bars side spin to the right. Adjustment here, medium distance, 20% elevation, mid plus 20, and then we are going to take our shot. Bear in mind, great balls to the right will risk the rough on the right due to the wind direction that we do have. Thankfully here we do hit perfect and this one comes in very nicely. We just want to approach the bottom of the fairway anywhere around here. Just those tips of those shadows can be absolutely fine. Second shot here. Do make an error, but I will advise you what to do. Go with the wood club with the biggest amount of top spin. So the big dog, cataclysm or the horizon. Max top spin aim at the centre of the green. Now here I do over adjust this shot uh, quite a lot and you are going to see we do clip the rough on the other side however I did actually manage to save the eagle. If you do adjust into overpower obviously apply the overpower as well. The adjustment I would recommend rather than what I do here is medium distance plus five percent. Mid plus five should be absolutely fine. Apply overpower whatever you adjust in Obviously, you saw we bounced very um, near the rough on the left and did clip the rough. But still, uh, without clipping the rough, you'll be absolutely fine to get the eagle. Hole number six, Thor's hammer once again for the top spin. Go with as much top spin as you have. Half a bar side spin to the right. Setting up at max with the kingmaker. Clear ring touching the rough on the left. So max top spin, half a bar side spin to the right. Then we are going to adjust this one max distance plus 15% elevation, max plus 15 on this one, and that is because the wind otherwise will push us very close or near the rough on the left-hand side. Once we're done, push back up to max, only going to be one or two yards left that you can push up, but then we do hit perfect again. Beware, great ball to the left or the right may well risk the rough, as the fairway is very narrow. As you can see, just on left to centre, but it does roll out very nicely. Second shot, very good chance of an eagle here with the tweak that I'm going to give you based on my first look. Counting up rings from min with the thorn, again, no spin. So the number of rings we are uh, to get the ball guide to the hole played 1% slider per ring. So if you've pushed up 14 rings, play 14% slider. Here I use minus 5 elevation, however this is under adjusted. We need, I think, to play 0 elevation. And you'll see why here. We do give this one a perfect ball, but it is slightly under adjusted. So I do believe with the tweak I've suggested here, you will drop this one very nicely for an eagle. No spin shot, but just look at that, just missing on the left hand side. Hole number seven, now I'm going to play with the rock. This is a difficult uh, hole, to be honest, in all divisions. Half a bar of backspin is what I'm doing here. Red ring touching the bunker and also the rough on the right. Uh, so just half a bar of backspin. Then the adjustment here, which is awkward because of the slope. Medium distance, 10% elevation. Medium distance plus 10. Adjust as accurately as you can. It will equate to approximately one on one plus 0.1. Hit perfect, and this one does bounce, and we are fairly close to the green. Not going to drop this one, but it's not bad, and I do think with a tweak or two here, a very good chance of dropping this one for a hole in one with a kingmaker. Hole number eight, nasty wind angle on this one. Max top spin, two and a half bars side spin to the left. So max top spin, two and a half left spin. And we're going to have the red ring touching the rough at plus one yards. So red ring at plus one. Adjust max plus ten and look at how much overpower that we need to use. About two rings there does take us into overpower. So if we're just into overpower, we're going to apply that exact amount. 
No curl, just aim to hit perfect. I do believe great left and a minor great right will be fine because you've got plenty of fairway to aim at, but obviously you do want to try and hit perfect to get maximum distance on the shot. Finding centre fairway there, which is absolutely fine. Drive distance anywhere around 350 is going to be good. Second shot playing with the Grizzly, obviously if you've got the B52, you can use that as well. Estimating club distance as best as possible. I did do a rough check here, which was at plus six, if you want to use that as a reference. But then we're going to apply some backspin, and we're going to aim with the ball guide just going through the hole. So it's going to be between two and two and a half bars of backspin. Here I play this one 60% slider, zero elevation. However, this is under adjusted. So I would recommend to you, with a rough check of plus six with the Grizzly level nine, that you play 70% on the slider. That would be the recommendation here. We do hit perfect. No need for any uh, pull angle, just going for a straight pull. We just threw the bunker and out. But just missing to the left side, but very, very nice speed on hole number eight. And finally, on to hole nine. I'm going to use a berserker here just to remove any uh, doubt of getting over there and leaving max OP. Obviously, if you do have a luminary, then by all means, use that one as well. Uh, apply spin and then stretch out. Three bars top spin, two bars side spin to the left. See the second bounce just over the rough. Now we can see we will need to do some pushing up here to make sure we are going to clear. Then we are going to adjust max plus 15. So that's maximum distance, 15% elevation. And once we are done, we are going to push up to max, which is obviously going to take away some of the overpower that we need. Again, bear in mind you will have wind angle and wind strength variance. Two rings of overpower and a little bit of curl to the left is what I go with here. Maybe didn't need that much curl. I did play it a second time, went without curl, and was still absolutely fine. So maybe just half a wall uh, left curl would be best. Second shot, I'm going to show you here the sniper, but I would really recommend you go with the Guardian instead if you've got it in good level. Uh, just play with max backspin that you have. Uh, here I do go with the sniper, and it, it is fine. Obviously the Guardian would path the ball up much nicer. Here I would recommend you play true club distance plus 20% elevation. Make sure you do push up, otherwise you will not have room to adjust and you will hit the uh, Grizzly instead. So here I played mid plus 10, but really, to be honest, true distance of club uh, with 20% elevation would be better, in my opinion. Go with some curl to the right, and this will obviously help bring the ball in very, very nicely. As I said... A little bit long there, so the Guardian will be better, but still secured the E. Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clan mates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots. Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.